everybody. It's 7.30 on the nose. It's um, Saturday night here at Oliver's house in Hondo, Texas. Got very, very hot today here. Um, I'm gonna say probably up in the upper 90s. Tomorrow should probably hit 100. Yes, and we did surgeries all day in here today, and there was a lot going on between here and the Milton. The Milton is our new building, and I want to say a huge thank you. Hold on. To, um, let's see, we got some wonderful gifts in already. We, the, uh, Christine and Robert sent all these cameras, and... They, we're getting cameras because, you know, we had an intruder. So let me just give you an update on that guy. They have not caught him yet. But I don't want anybody to worry because he wasn't targeting me. The guy is a crackhead, and he's been all over the neighborhood. And nobody has seen him since his face kind of went all over the place on um, social media. They have the license plate to the car. They know who he is. They just have not caught him yet. But I'm not worried because the guy was so high. He looked high as a kite. He probably doesn't even, you know, he probably would not even remember being in this neighborhood. <laughs> so, yeah, it was just really, really, really scary. I saw him, um, no shirt on. He And he had a big machete, by the way, in the back part of his pants. Now, well, I told him, I said, you better get off my property or I'm going to blow your head off. And he left. And that's been that. So there's been other sightings of him throughout the uh, neighborhood and then all up um, in some of the other ranches. But he's been doing the same thing. He's been driving on people's property with his car, has all these weird stories. So, you know, they'll catch him. They'll catch him. Again, I don't even think he, he knows he was even here. So... Uh, a huge, huge thank you to Christine and Robert for our cameras. We're going to have cameras all over our new building, uh, the Milton, the front entryway, inside, outside, so we can keep an eye on our dogs and everything. So everything's uh, moving along over there. Um, I also will let you know that Milton is not doing well, and his back legs are starting to give out on him. So instead of him coming here i'm going to be going as you know uh transporting dogs on june 15th i'm not going to be too far from where he is in michigan so melton just hold on a couple weeks I, i'm going to go to michigan and see him so i won't be able to see him before the opening there's just way too much going on here for me to um be able to take off but when I get to Michigan, I'm going to talk to his mom and we're going to make arrangements for me to see him. You know, um, if our calculations are right, Milton is about 15 or 16. Now that is unheard of for a large breed dog. So um, it's a long trip for him to come here and as much as i would have loved to have him be the first dog that walked through the the building uh he's not doing well so i'm gonna go to him and that'll be of course after i drop the dogs off uh in allen i think it's called allentown i'm tired right now so i think it's allentown michigan uh, Rhonda put the the name and everything up um so it's on facebook and it, doggies will be delivered on the 15th of June and then I want to say a huge also a huge thank you to Anita Walker she bought us the uh, like the tabletop oven uh, that we asked for for the Milton because we did not put like a full kitchen in there like we have in here this building is for the sick babies right but we will still have people working over there so I thought that a tabletop um, would save us some money and you know again it's just for one person over there that's cooking for themselves if the dogs are sick they're gonna come here and we have a full kitchen here to cook for them <laughs> so that will all work out just fine um, and so for this next week we're gonna be 
really, 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 really busy. Uh, it's crunch time right now. So the, the contractors, the fence people, everybody's down there, but it's not going to be complete. The yards will not be complete. So there's a lot that we still have to do, but it's enough to have an opening. Um, and I will be posting the address as well. So I'm gonna post the invitation again and the invitation and then I'll have a like a pin. So anybody that wants to come, we are in Hondo, Texas. You'll get an exact address here in the next few days. Um, and then I, I just wanted to mention something briefly about um, we lost one of our babies. Well, you probably all read Libby Geyer's heartfelt goodbye to her dog, Chewy. Um, you know, we're, we've been doing this now for a long time, 13, 14 years, and some of our dogs are starting to pass away that we adopted out way back in the beginning. And Libby and her husband, Mark, have been uh, supporters, um, wonderful dog parents. And when I read what she wrote about Chewy, it hit right here, but Libby gets it. You know, dogs, guys, um, you guys know I kind of migrate to the naughty ones sometimes. There's a lesson there, um, and she really nailed it. She said, meet them where they're at. Have mutual respect. Don't try to change them. I mean, I have one at home like that. It's Huckleberry. He is the way he is. I love him. I'm not going to ever turn him into a dog that is going to be a Walmart greeter. It's not going to happen. So there's a respect there. You know, people, people are the same way. We need to kind of meet people where they're at. And so what a lesson that was. What she wrote was absolutely beautiful. And I hope everybody that has a rescue dog can scroll back on our page and read about Chewy and the love that that family have for him. That's the type of family that we look for every time that we adopt one of our dogs out. So, yes. Um, now, it was surgery day today, so I'm not gonna be long. I wanna help Brenda. She was here since 6.30 in the morning and didn't leave for her break until three and then came back at six. So. She's tired, uh, I'm tired, but I'm gonna turn this around and see if anybody um, see, wants to see any special dogs. Oh, there's Missy from New Jersey, hi. Yeah, Shea got spayed today, so she's of course not, not happy. Oh, hmm. I do have something to tell you though, and you're not gonna believe this. So you know how I put up the, um, the petition, right, that Susie Messina did four years ago, three, four years ago, trying to, you know, hey, you know, anybody who donated to the Milton with the last group, all that money, they just took it and disappeared. Nobody knows where they're at. They're not answering anybody. But I did get an explanation from somebody that I had not heard from in a long time um, on what, you know, what the heck happened? Because it's been almost how many years? We still don't know. Um, and you're not gonna believe this one. I, as I was talking to this gal, I cried because I just, okay, so here, here it is. You guys get ready for this. People during that time period that were um, around know that I, I, I work 24 seven, that's just me, right? And I was being very isolated from everybody. And apparently what he and they were telling people was that I was a drug addict, <laughs> me. <laughs> I don't do drugs, I don't drink, although I should drink. <laughs> so. What they told people was the reason that they stole everything from me. They told people I was going to rehab. You know, it, it makes no sense. And um, the saddest part about it is my very best friend knows that I don't do drugs, knows that I don't drink alcohol. And she went along with it and played it. So 
after all these years, that was the first time we had ever heard it in that, um, in that way. And Rhonda is just like, you know, it, again, I don't know. <sighs> but, you know, shame on me for not having, you know, my eyes more, more open to things. But I was married to somebody at the time. I thought I loved him. And I had um, I just, you know, rescuing dogs is what I was doing and wasn't really paying attention to everything else. I thought he, he was handling things, and boy, sure he was, right? But rest assured, I don't do drugs, I don't drink. Um, this is my passion here. I work full time. I do this in my spare time, um, nights and weekends, and it's around the clock, guys. So. Uh, you have my word that I <laughs> I love what I do, and I mean love, love, love what I do, and I'm very passionate about it. So that what happened to us with that last group is never going to happen again. The learning lesson and all of that, you know, again, you got you, you learn from stuff, and you make sure you, it never happens again. That's how it's supposed to work. You make screw ups. You you know, make mistakes in life, you learn from them and move forward. You know, um, yeah, and look where we're at right now. We're having a ribbon cutting on June 1st. I, I can't, cannot believe it. So I'm gonna turn the camera around, just show you a couple of dogs and then I'm gonna go so I can help Brenda. So hold on. I wanna show you Miss Nestle because Miss Nestle is one of the sweetest dogs ever. And somebody said, didn't you have a dog named Nestle? I sure did. Um, this little girl's black and brown, and I don't know, when I saw her, I just thought of Nestle and Nestle's spirit. You know, one of the sweetest uh, pit bulls ever. Now, this little girl's not a pit bull, but she does have one of the sweetest dispositions like my Nestle did. Yes, hi. Oh, she's about 30 pounds, and little Nestle will be available for adoption. And her personality is very submissive, and she's a bet. I call her a belly dog. She like does that little walk when you start talking to her, and I look at her. Hi, Nestle. She loves everybody. And then, of course, we have all of our puppies. And these are Jules' babies. They were spayed um, last week. And today was our second spay day. So I think, um, Brenda, Brenda, how many did y'all do today? Uh, 34, 36. Woo! Like did you hear that? So we, um... Yeah, I'm all spayed and neutered up. Yeah, <laughs> Brenda's spayed and neutered I'm up. Done this week. <laughs> so that was... Um, how, mostly females today? A lot of females. A lot of females. So it was like 36, she said. So uh, the guy that, um, well, the guy, the vet, <laughs> he's a friend of mine. Him and his wife come out here, and he's a ninja. And he goes in between two tables while, one is, while they're getting one ready. He's spaying or neutering one on the other table, and then... As soon as that dog's done, he just moves tables and goes boom, boom, boom like that. So, and then our other vet did 16, was 17. it 17 last week? So if you do the math, we're rocking and rolling on surgeries here. And I, I actually prefer for us to do the surgeries opposed to taking them uh, or taking them spayed or neutered sometimes from the shelters because I don't, I want my dogs to recover here. I want their stress level down and I, I want to make sure they're, they're healthy before we spay or neuter. And a lot of times in those shelters, they're, they're only there for a few days. And then, so anyway, okay guys, I, I really appreciate everybody sending stuff for the Milton. I'll post the address in the next couple of days. Um, and I appreciate all of your support more than you know. Thank you very much for, for everything. The dream is coming true. So I hope to see everybody there on June, at June 1st at 2 p.m. Uh, here in Hondo, 
the opening of the Milton. And on that note, we'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye. Hey, you guys. Hold on. They love Miss Brenda. We have crew and Savannah here. Hi, Savannah. Trying to connect. It's not, why do I always have, you know, it's outside that it's giving me trouble. I wanted to let you guys know that Savannah and crew still, I'm going to go in here though while the Savannah and crew still do not have applications. Look at these two. Come on, guys. Oh. So, um, just so you know, crew, we came in from the West Coast shelter a while back with Buckeye. He was, uh, he's Buckeye's brother, I think. And Buckeye got adopted, crew did not. They were so mangy, guys, um, and really teeny tiny. But I don't think they're gonna be teeny tiny. I think crew's probably gonna be a 50 pounder, maybe. Uh, that's just a guess. Him and Savannah both would love, love to have a home of their own. And let me show you a couple more that are, are not adopted yet. This trip to Allen Park, Michigan, the adoption crew guys has already almost have every box on that van is taken. We have 27 right now that are going to be going with me on the trip. We might be looking into a chaser vehicle. So hold on. Let me show you a couple more that are not adopted. Hold on. Oh my gosh. And it is so, oh, look at this baby. Oh, look at that big old baby. Look at that big baby. Oh. oh my gosh. It's really loud here today. Hold on. So Adele and our little Opie hasn't been adopted yet. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like ah <laughs> I know crazy times here at Tracy's Paws um so yes so we have Opie Savannah um and crew and Adele that still would love to uh get on that bus and if we get them on the bus we might have to get a chaser vehicle to drive with me up to Allen Park uh Michigan because we're full 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 and we still have two weeks, a little bit more than two weeks away. So I, I'm, I'm just thrilled. Um, and as you know, the Milton opens this Saturday, a week from today, one week. Yeah. And I want to say a huge thank you to everybody. Hold on. Look at all these boxes that came in. Um, and we are not like officially... <clears throat> moving in yet down there because there's still a lot to do so if you're planning on coming out here for the milton don't expect it to be all the way done it, it's not but it'll be enough for an opening the artist is in there putting everybody's name uh, on the wall on the leaves of the tree and we've got the street signs in where we've named the the runs it's all coming together. And if you didn't see um, <clears throat> a very, very generous man bought us four pools, bone shaped pools for the, each of our yards. We have four play yards. And I saw a lot of people saying, well, those pools are expensive. And yeah, they, they really are. Um, and we could have, gotten you know the the less expensive um like kitty pools but the last time i did that within it was less than 15 minutes they had ripped them up holes in them and it, it really was a waste of money so being that it's a hundred and 
10 to 15 degrees here in Texas on a lot of days. Um, we need a real durable pool. We're gonna put some decking around it so they can't chew it and it'll last a lifetime. So huge thank you to Gunner's dad. Um, I am just humbled. I know Rhonda was crying when she found out. Just, there's a lot of really wonderful people uh, and everybody that has sent this week. We, we really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So, and I, I hope to see and meet many of you on Saturday. So it's gonna be at 2 p.m. We will have pizza. There's gonna be uh, somebody playing guitar and singing and we'll give you the grand tour around. And um, there's a couple of time with my internet. Hey, Elon Musk, my internet's starting to not do well. <laughs> so uh, in Hondo, there is a um, Hondo Inn that used to be a Best Western. It's a nice uh, hotel. There's also a bed and breakfast called Chateau Claire that um, my manager actually stays in when she visits me and it is beautiful. It's a renovated older home um, that it just couldn't be a nicer place and they cook for you and everything. So, yep. Yeah. And then, um, so if anybody needs any, any specific just recommendations, uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, either on Facebook or um, email. And we're happy to, you know, tell you, Hondo, there's not much to Hondo, guys. It's a very small little town, and we are way, way back in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, okay, um, a couple of other things that I know everybody saw. Our favorite ACO, Miss uh, Officer Orlana, I call her Baco. She resigned from Westlaco, and that, uh, that was a very hard day for a lot of us and I, I, I cried because that shelter I've been going down there for over a decade and for over a decade I have been doing my best to try to improve the place but quite honestly nothing I did worked and it wasn't until she was hired that I saw change come to Westlaco and it was amazing to see um, that gal has a heart of gold. She loves people, she loves children, she loves the dogs, and I, I truly trust her. So if she tells you she's gonna do something, she does it. <laughs> so, it's a rare quality today. <laughs> um, but just know she's gonna be moving her efforts to Cameron County and I, have no doubt that she's going to shine there just like she did in Westlaco. And soon we're going to have an educational program for adults and children to offer communities and a program to offset all this craziness that you see going on right now in the shelters. And quite honestly, it's been going on for years, ever since I started in rescue, you know, the whole euthanasia for space, they uh, like to shock people and guilt people into adopting and fostering. And once the animal leaves, that's it. There seems to be no quality of care where they're going. And um, I know that's not what you guys want because it's not what I want. We love animals, right? We want quality. We, want a min we don't want more animals breeding in the community. And we certainly don't want to euthanize healthy dogs and cats, uh, but we also don't want to leave them out in the, on the community to fend for themselves. You can't do that. That's inhumane. So Baco and I are working together. We always will. Um, and we will have a solution to this madness and this craziness and this euthanasia for space scam. That, that's what I call it. <laughs> that these big groups have made millions of dollars on with no no end in sight and that's gonna stop so she's gonna be in cameron county so cameron county you are getting the best of the best of the best and uh we'll be moving our efforts there and also to san antonio 
there's a lot going on in San Antonio as well, guys. So that's where we started rescuing Rhonda and I, uh, what, 14, 13, 14 years ago. So I almost feel like we're going home. <laughs> so we definitely will continue our efforts uh, near the border, but we will just not be working in Westlaco anymore. We're going to move to Cameron County. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I think I mentioned... 27 dogs are on board already, so we may be getting a chaser vehicle because if there's the possibility to get more home, more dogs in homes, good quality screen homes, that's what we want to do. So if you would like to help us drive and you have a bigger vehicle and you would like to be a chaser vehicle that we could put some crates in and um, put some like furry freeloaders in there, some stowaways, let me know. <laughs> so because if we can't find a chaser vehicle, I'm gonna to have to cut the adoptions off in Michigan and just work locally. So, um, <clears throat> you know, so anyway, um, I'm not gonna to be too much longer. I wanna just show you again Adele and Opie because both of those sweet little babies don't have homes yet. And I mentioned already our Savannah and crew. And then, you know, who else has not had a home, gotten a home yet, guys, is Mia. And major and I think you probably saw that our Bertha is in training right now with um, cheese please and she's doing very well <laughs> so hold on <clears throat> oh and I will mention um, we did get a return and that's okay with me because you guys know my dogs are, are welcome to come home if their adoption doesn't work out our sweet Kylo was returned, and it's no, in my eyes, no fault of her own. She is a Border Collie, and if for anybody who knows the Border Collie breed, they are uber, uber, uber smart, and um, she just needs a different home. So nothing, nothing at all that I have to say, because to me, she's perfect, aren't you? Are you perfect? She's beautiful. She's perfect. This is our Kylo. And she's looking for another home. Yes, yeah, she is. She's about as sweet as they come. I like to call her a belly dog. As soon as you talk to her, she'll roll on her back and just, ah, she loves to have her belly rubbed. And then, as I mentioned, Mia. Uh, Mia, you know, there is a part of me that says, just keep Mia. <laughs> But Mia deserves to be in a home uh, with somebody, but she definitely can stay here as long as she needs to. But being a bigger black dog has chosen her. I will tell you this, she's one of my favorites. And when she sees me, hi Mia. Mia, what's going on? Hey, you got adopted, Shaya. You got adopted. Hold on, Mia. Hey. Mia's a gem. Yes, she is. And you know what is great about Mia? Um, let me just tell you. She is a heck of a watchdog and... She's very trainable, she loves people, she's real kind-hearted and very, very loving, but she is one of those dogs that I wish would have been outside when that intruder came in, but she wasn't. They haven't caught that creep, uh, by the way, but they will eventually, who knows, he may be in another neighborhood doing that stuff, but Mia is one of those dogs that if you have her outside, She's going to let you know somebody's in your yard, and I really do wish she would have been outside with my autumn when that man jumped my fence. I don't know if it would have ended the way it did. He might not have gotten out of here with his, uh, you know, with his little, with his rump intact. So anyway, I'm going to turn this around to see if anybody has any questions, because I'm going to go down to the Milton when I hang up. I've got a lot of stuff to do down there before this ribbon cutting. It just doesn't seem real. It really doesn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can't tell you guys how much I love each and every one of you. Anybody who loves dogs and has supported us all these years 
it's because of you. <laughs> and I, I really think like our hearts connect and when you have people that love animals like this, it's a force to be reckoned with. And um, Rhonda and I could not have done this without you. So don't ever forget that you guys are our family. <laughs> and so you're welcome to come out here anytime. <laughs> You know why they're barking at me? Because I have not spent a lot of time over here. I've been doing other things and they're like, who is that lady? So now that we have the bus full, I'm gonna be spending some more time over here with my, my babies. Again, they're barking at me because I'm not spending the time with them while this building is going on. So anyway, guys, um, that's all I have for, for tonight. <clears throat> Mary Beth wants to know, have I heard how Edward and Moose are doing? Um, I haven't lately, but the last time I did, they were doing good. Yep, yep. Okay, guys. Don't forget to spay and neuter your cats, your dogs, your weird friends, your relatives, your husbands, your boyfriends, and anyone else who needs it. I love you, and I hope to see you all Saturday. Bye.